Well, uh, when I went to Hawaii in 2007, I wanted to get a depleted uranium bill in the state legislature to, um, to help the sick veterans coming back. And... I went all over Hawaii, and no one even knew there was any radioactive contamination in Hawaii. And I went on ABC TV uh, and did a two-and-a-half-minute news story because I had gone to Kona on the big island of Hawaii and measured uh, high levels of uh, radiation on a day that they were firing, they were doing live firing at uh, Pohakaloa Army Base, which has been a bombing and gunnery range uh, since World War II. Some activists claim the U.S. Army is firing depleted uranium on gunnery ranges in Hawaii, contaminating the state with radioactive fallout. They recently took Geiger counter readings downwind from Pohakuloa on the Big Island. KITV's Dick Allgaier joins us live now with details. Dick? Hi, Jill. The U.S. Army, of course, says it does not use depleted uranium rounds when it practices in Hawaii. But one activist says she took high radiation readings, which may indicate depleted uranium, recently on the Big Island. In order to protect the nuclear... Lorraine Moray is a world-renowned expert on the subject of depleted uranium. She travels the globe giving presentations about the dangers of spreading nanoparticles of radioactive uranium through bombs and bullets. It's not harmless. It's extremely toxic. On April 22nd, she took Geiger counter readings in South Kona on the Big Island. 63. <laughs> This is very, very alarming. Normal background radiation would be 5 to 20 counts per minute. On this day, she says she took readings of up to 93, which experts say is abnormal and quite high. That is horrendous. And it could only be because they were doing live fire with depleted uranium at Pohakaloa while we were doing the measurements. Loren Murray claims the Army is using depleted uranium on the Pohakuloa firing range, and the wind is blowing radiation over South Kona. The Army insists it does not use depleted uranium in Hawaii. Dr. Lauren Pang is a public health official in Hawaii. In this interview, he says he is speaking only as a concerned physician. Regardless of what it is, from, it is high. It has to be looked at. Now, furthermore, she, you know, she, she, she went around the training area, and I guess it was high downwind of the firing range, which is kind of like a smoking gun. All of the bombing and gunnery ranges are contaminated in Hawaii with depleted uranium already. Now, there has been a bill at the legislature that would require testing for depleted uranium near targets at Schofield Barracks. The Army would not comment on that. Again, the Army and National Guard have said DU is not used in Hawaii. Reporting from the newsroom, Dick Allgaier, KITV4, Island Television News. And um, there, the day I drove through the base, you have to drive through the base to get from one side of the island to the other between the volcanoes. And, um, and then I went 35 miles south down the coast to a macadamia farm and... I said, gee, let's get a video camera just in case we measure some radiation because we'd organized um, a radiation monitoring citizens posse and I had people going all over the island measuring the radiation. We'd go off in cars, six or eight or 12 cars and um, do it together sometimes. So I ended up down on this macadamia farm we bought a, a video camera on the way and some film. And um, so we're standing there on the deck looking out at the ocean and listening to the whales. And I said, gee, I'll, I'll flip my, my uh, Geiger counter on now. And I almost dropped it because it went up to uh, as high as 90, over 90 counts per minute. Uh, and usually it's about seven. And I uh, just about had a heart attack. So um, we filmed it, and I called uh, Dick Allgaier, who is um, a radio 
I mean, a TV anchor at ABC TV in Honolulu, and he heard me on the Jeff Rents program, and he said, if you ever come to Hawaii, I'll do a story on you. So I said, Dick, I'm in, in Kona, and this is what I got today. And he said, did you film it? And I said, yes. He said, get on a plane and come over right now. Well, all of the of the Hawaiian islands are completely radioactive from uh, simulated nuclear bomb testing on uh, different islands, on uh, nuclear rockets they were launching from one of the islands. Um, they were shooting... Um, the let's see it's called the davy crockett it's actually a mini nuke it's a shoulder nuke but they used uh depleted uranium in it instead of actual nuclear weapons because you don't want to shoot nuclear weapons uh, where you live and uh, off the battlefield and so all of uh oahu which is where honolulu is is contaminated on bombing and gunnery ranges and uh, all along uh, Pearl Harbor's a nuclear sewer, um, and the whole beaches and the and the coastal uh, currents go carry it past Honolulu and Waikiki and Diamond Head. So that very very expensive area of Hawaii is all contaminated with radiation. Well, and now they will have um, problems with the ocean releases from Fukushima, which when I interviewed uh, Dr. Christopher Busby in June of 2012, he indicated to me that the contamination from Fukushima had already reached the beaches. That's not to be confused with the tsunami debris field, which is traveling north of there, and once it hits the west coast of Canada and the U.S., it will curve back around and eventually end up in Hawaii as well. Hawaii is going to have some big problems, and some of that is already showing in their coral. They have fish and turtles that are exhibiting lesions, and I've had reports from people that live there and do a lot of scuba diving that the reefs are in big trouble. That's the Fukushima radiation, and um, it's, of course, as I've mentioned, radiation has a cumulative effect, cumulative effect And uh, I noticed when I was going to the Hawaiian legislature every day on buses to, uh, I was staying in Waikiki, and I was noticing on the buses every day, going back and forth, uh, that it was the sickest population I've ever seen anywhere. People were pushing uh, adult children with uh, completely neuromuscular problems. They couldn't even walk. Uh, there were people getting on, dragging air oxygen tanks. Everybody was walking with canes, and uh, it was just horrible to see that. And I said, what in the world happened here? Well, I figured it out finally. The um, U.S. and Britain did nuclear weapons tests and biological tests and chemical tests with different weapons on Johnson Island and Christmas Island that um, they're less than a 1,000 miles upwind to the west from Hawaii. So Hawaii was getting nuked, and it was mixed with biological agents and chemicals, and that's why so many people are sick in Hawaii already. This new exposure to Fukushima is going to have a devastating effect on the existing Hawaiian population. And quite frankly, anyone who goes to Hawaii as a tourist or for any reason is committing suicide. 